Hi, my name is Ted and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing another great product from Savoni. Um, it is a the SP25. It's a small beginner telescope. Um, it's a refractor telescope. Uh, it is a 60 millimeter, which is a 2 inch. Uh, it's 420 millimeter focal length and it has comes with some really nice accessories. Uh, two eyepieces, a 9 millimeter, a 20 millimeter, and I'll kind of just show you some of the eyepieces. Pretty good quality eyepieces too, actually. I um, was comparing it to my Celestron 20 millimeter eyepiece, and they both really are basically the same thing. You know, just different shape. So, but it has a nice eye relief as well. So it's really really nice. Um, it also comes with a three times Bartle lens, so it gives you three times the magnification. So it's really nice if you really want to get close. Um, it comes with a 90 degree zenith uh, diagonal, so you can kind of see everything in the right uh, perspective. Uh, it also comes with a nice little phone uh, accessory, so you can actually attach your uh, phone to it, so you can take pictures with your phone. Uh, I don't use my phone because it's I don't have a timer on my phone, so I have to keep pressing the button. So naturally, pressing the button can be a little wobbly sometimes. Uh, and also the other fact is that I live in a very tropical state which is very windy so it's raining all the time and windy so this doesn't stay too supported. Um, um, it's on a, a cardboard box too so it's a little shaky but I recommend that if you're going to use the adapter that comes with this to use your phone um, I would put leave it just like it is I wouldn't extend the because you can't extend the legs if you want to um, but I would leave it flat on a nice hard table outside and it works wonders. Um, it is a 1.25, it's not a 2 inch, which is fine. Again, this is a beginner telescope, which is really nice. Um, it has a very long back focus as well, so um, I had no problems achieving focus whatsoever. It's really, really nice. It also comes with a nice little 5 by 20 finder scope, which is more than enough for this. Uh, the great thing about this telescope is not only is it good for astronomy and studying some of the things in the night sky um, you can also use it as a nature telescope as well if you want to take pictures of nature or basically just observe nature and you want to get close to something that maybe say wildlife that you can't get close to this is kind of perfect it does come with a nice little instruction booklet which also also explains pretty much all the eyepieces and everything about the scope which is really nice and it also has a nice little solar system there which I think I have it upside down it's very nice, very large, very nice. A great accessory, again, that complements the telescope. Uh, normally, what I do is I, if I'm gonna take pictures with this thing, um, like I said, I don't use my cell phone, I use the Savoni SV-105 digital astronomy camera. Uh, camera. Uh, this doesn't come with it, but uh, it actually complements it. So if you're looking to start getting into imaging, I would also recommend their camera as well to go with this. It makes it a lot easier, I think, than using the phone. And of course, naturally, it just plugs right into your I'll just show you into your focuser um, if it's something you want to get into later, maybe taking pictures. Oh, I forgot there's one over here. I totally forgot. Am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. And then, of course, you plug your wire in and stuff like that. So. Again, this is just something you can possibly add later down the road if you want to take images with a uh, astronomy camera as opposed to your cell phone. Um, I have taken pictures of the moon uh, and the sun. Uh, what I do recommend though, it does not come with a solar filter um, and you can't look at the sun without some kind of solar filter. So I used the one that I had originally made and I have this adapter plate thing that I use for my camera lenses when I'm using my little square filters and I just bought a sheet of film and put it on there and it pretty much goes over the front of that. Um, they do make solar filters that are most likely fit this. I know they have really small ones so again if you're going to look at the sun I would definitely put a solar filter on there of some sorts. Uh, also one of the great things about this telescope when I was looking at the moon, I was really expecting to see some kind of chromatic aberration. I was truly taken back, and I was surprised that I didn't see no chromatic aberration whatsoever. And as most people know, looking at a very bright moon in a, you know, a low-end beginner telescope, you're most likely going to see chromatic aberration. 
it, I was very, very surprised. So it was a great sight. Uh, seeing no chromatic aberration was perfect. It was like very beautiful. And even in my images, which I'll put some images in some video at the end of this, uh, uh, this little review and show you what you can actually capture. Again, I did use this though, the uh, sub any camera. I didn't use my cell phone. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, it is the SV25. It's a 60 millimeter, 420 millimeter focal length. Uh, it's a nice beginner telescope. Um, also, what I love about Savoni is that uh, if you're kind of starting out in this hobby or if you're just wanting to get your foot in the door and you really want to start learning about astronomy and stuff, they make some really great uh, products at affordable prices. And that's what they're kind of there for. They want people who are starting out to enjoy the hobby because as most people know this hobby can be very expensive you know uh, like a telescope like this is like four hundred dollars and not everybody has four hundred dollars so they make some really nice telescopes and they got a little larger ones as well um, so they kind of get those beginners out there who are looking to start out so it's a great thing so and of course they also make eyepieces laser culminators finder scopes different types of cameras all kinds of accessories as well so and if you check out my YouTube channel, you can see uh, I have other reviews that I did for them as well that I like because I love their products. So they make great products. So again, this is the box. It's just a small little, it's lightweight. Uh, the tripod does have a little carrying case, which I don't have out. Uh, but this is it, and it's a nice little telescope. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel and clear skies.